Yeah. Where's good your king chef here? Ha ha ha! Chef, you baby, got you. I damn, I don't know why the hell y'all want me to react to this shit, bro. Listen, this shit is four months behind me. Why y'all want me to react to this shit now? Damn. All right, so I'm gonna react to this video with DDG addressing the Taylor Older situation. You know what I'm saying? When he said he supposedly called him a black ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But damn, that's kind of wild though. If he did though, but let's see this shit for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let's hear from the horse's mouth, and I ain't calling DDG no horse. I'm the same. But well, all been said, let's get into it. Uh, the clip I'm about to show y'all is very disturbing. Um, I'm honestly, I'm disappointed. You know what I mean? Like, you know, from the title, this is not clickbait. This is all real. Uh, this happened yesterday. Let me tell y'all the story. So, I parked my car, right? I'm going to the press conference yesterday, as you can see. Um, and we had to get on the elevator. So we go on the ground. I actually, I vlogged it or whatever. And it's right. I didn't get this part of, I didn't get this portion of the altercation because I didn't know we was going to stop on the floor, right? So this is my first time interacting with any of the people. You know, you had the lame TikTok dude. I don't even really know his name. The nigga that I'm fighting. Oh, Nate. And then you had the Bryce nigga. And then you had Taylor, right? So as soon as our door opened, they just, Hopped on tip. You know what I mean? They just started talking shit and all this other shit. I'm like, okay, I like that, man. I like that energy. You know what I mean? So, Nate, nigga, just kept asking me if I'm hot. Like, he wanted to. I don't know why he keep asking me that. Like, nigga, I'm, I could be. Hey, listen, when I was watching that press conference, when he was keep asking him that, I was like, bro, why the fuck are you asking this dumbass question, bro? Like, he's trying to say something to get into his head. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of wild he was doing that. I'm, I could be high the day that I fight you. It's not gonna make a difference, bro. Like you can't fight. You can get your ass whooped either way. That's, that's not. It's not even about Nate. It's not even about Nate. Like right? it's about Taylor. And Taylor was talking the most shit. Right? He was talking shit with Nate. I guess him and him and Nate was like boyfriend girlfriend or some shit like that. Right? So the niggas is like talking crazy. Um. And then Taylor pointed his finger at my brother, and my brother smacked his hand and shit. And then he threw some keys at Bryce Hall's head, right? So we just ready for the smoke. And I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? At this point, I'm like, oh, we really finna bang. Oh, okay. We not waiting till the fight. All right, bet. So I'm ready too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we just got into a little altercation. Or you know what? I'ma just let y'all watch the clip. Because I don't want to just be talking this entire time. Watch this clip and listen to what Taylor say at the end. Um, and you're going to see the whole altercation that I was talking to. Shout out Hollywood Fix. They got it all on camp. And I wouldn't have been able to hear what came out of Taylor's mouth unless I watched this. Watch this real quick. So this is the part where the elevator situation was going on right here. I mean, damn. It seemed like elevators are starting to become famous now for, for scraps and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? First we got Solange and Jay-Z in that motherfucker. Then we got, um, what's his name? Ray Rice knocked out his wife in the in that motherfucker. Then we got one of the, another NFL player that knocked out a motherfucker in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Then we got, um, then we got... So we was trying to throw some hands on Quavo and some shit in, in that motherfucker. Now we got Dub, DDG, and Taylor Oler and all these guys right here finna throw down in the elevator. Now, you know, that's kind of tough, bro. <laughs> I guess I gotta stay from elevators, bro. <laughs> Let's get back. Are you hot? Are you hot? Dub, Loki, Loki, 
dub Loki still got that Pontiac vibe inside of him. You know what I'm saying? Just by the way how he was acting in this video, he Loki still got that that that, that Pontiac hood mentality. No cap. Get back. <laughs> I heard him. It's kind of tough. As you can hear, clear as day. Taylor Holder is racist, man. And it's like, it's wild to me because these, these, these like, this is a, this is a kid that, like, practices so much. And all this little interviews and shit, you know what I mean? And before all this other shit, like, before I seen this clip, I had respect for him. Like, you see all this shit and he talking about, um, like, he talking about God and being. Get 12 of the biggest TV networks in one small place. Stack TV. Watch now with your free trial. He's not a problem maker or anything like this, but these. So was the case. You gotta realize, Taylor. Well, hold up, brother. Did you just say this nigga's talking about God? Listen, niggas that love to talk about this Christianity and all that God bullshit, them niggas are, them niggas nine times out of ten the, the, the most demonic motherfuckers. No cap. I kid y'all, I kid y'all not. But that's another story for another time. No, I don't want to get deep to that right there. Let's get back right here. You get hurt. You get hurt. Saying shit like that. Dead ass. You can seriously hurt. Beyond the boxing match, you know. And he, and he talking crazy like black ass motherfucker. That's the equivalent to the N, the E G, the G E R. I think he thinks that he's superior because he has white pigment. That's what I'm getting. That's the type of vibe that I'm getting from. Hey, hey. Don't make me switch my fight. Don't wait, 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 we're not in those days anymore, Taylor. I don't know how you was raised. Yes, we're not. I don't know what. I don't know if you was brought up in a racist manner and your family taught you to not like black people. Because that's the type of vibe that I'm getting right now. But we ain't in that day and age no more, Taylor. Niggas is richer. Black people are richer than white people these days, you know? But I don't come on here and I don't I don't push down no white people. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't even like to call people white people. I call people people. You know what I'm saying? Race is not a thing anymore. And I think that's cap. I think we need to change that about society because a lot of these Caucasian males really think that they're upperers still. Like Taylor, for instance. Taylor, Taylor thinks that he's better than black people. And that's crazy. And that's crazy. That, shit that shit is wild to me that he really got, he really on, that got on that shit. And he said, and he said these black these ass motherfuckers. That's just, crazy. that's just crazy to me. So now I know. I know for a fact now. Like, you know, besides you know, Nate. Nate is literally like the least of my worries. Like when they was all fighting and shit during the press conference, a little back home triggered in my head. I was like, you know what? I'm better in my life. A little back home triggered in my head. Go over there, give my camera to my brother. And go sock that nigga on cam. But I'm like, you know what? Nate's scared. I'm not even going to do him like that. I'm not even going to bully him. I don't even want to play that role in his boxing match. You know what I mean? And I don't want to play a role at all. I'm just not that type of nigga. So, I'm going to handle him in the ring. But Taylor? You got some explaining to do for that slur that you said. That racial slur has to come behind some explanation. You know what I mean? Because... 
I can run into you, Taylor. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna have to. You gonna have to. You gonna have to. Clarify what you mean by black ass motherfucker. Because now we not talking about boxing no more. We not talking about boxing no more. We talking about real shit. You know what I'm saying? Now the explanation don't come behind this, Taylor. I'm gonna have to get an explanation out of you. You know? You know? This is beyond. This is the beyond the entertainment part. I don't take the. I don't take shit the racist like, shit you like. Know you know what I'm saying? It's to me, Whether it's to me or to my brother. You know what I mean? You know what yeah. I mean? We had nice a conversation. nice conversation. Like Good bro, you call niggas broke. You can say whatever you want to say. You know what I mean? That's cool. But black ass motherfucker. It's gonna have to be an explanation behind this. Immediately. 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 We live in the same, live in the same city, city, Taylor. You don't want this smoke. You don't want that type of smoke. We ain't talking about, 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 about boxing, Taylor. Sorry. So I'm gonna it's so it's it's funny how you say that all of these TikTok guys, these fine guys, these YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, all these social media influencers, they're on the same strip. They 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 dead ass live on the same strip in LA. They're not far away from each other. Some in Calabasas, some in Malibu, and that's not too far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you actually wanted some smoke, you could actually easily pull up on them. Because chances are, they're neighbors. Not legit, like, right there, but within the same area, you know what I'm saying? But that's kind of wild, though. Let's get back. You should clarify this shit, okay? Because I'm not going to let that shit I'm not gonna let that shit slide. I'm not gonna let it slide. Taylor Holder is racist. Somebody gotta handle, Somebody gotta handle it. I would like for it to be me. You know? So I'm gonna need you to clarify on that. And fix the situation. And fix the situation. Or shit gonna get serious beyond boxing. That's not a that's not a threat. That's a promise. Let you know right now. So that's the end of the video, man. If you said that shit, that's kind of that's just kind of wild. If you didn't, then I mean let 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 it let it slide. You know what I'm saying? But damn, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, share. I'm out.